Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Well, here we are again. Thank you for joining me. I'm trying to get all my quick thoughts on the movies I saw before Christmas comes. Today, I'm going to be talking about Terminator, Dark Fate. Here's a movie I really wanted to love. So I think uh, my bias for the franchise makes me like it. When the movie was first announced and I saw a trailer, or it was a teaser, because I try to stay away, I really had no expectations. I happened to enjoy Terminator Genesis. All right, so no one's listening now, because once I said that, Anyway, I really enjoy that movie. So this one is directed by Tim Miller with a screenplay by David Goya, Justin Rhodes, and Billy Ray. Apparently James Cameron's back and involved in this as he produced the film. I think it's back in his control, technically, although I'm not sure. They bring back Linda Hamilton and Arnold. This will have no images, no spoilers. Just my thoughts on seeing it once. I think this is a, another wasted opportunity. As a whole, I like seeing the Terminator grin on screen. I was really interested when the first little plot twist happens at the beginning of the movie. I was like, oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. This is, okay, I was really hyped. And everything else just kept dragging on and not paying off for me. I think Terminator Genesis is a better passing of the baton, if you want to say, for the franchise. As it does its own retcon, makes fun of itself. And you could watch a younger version of Sarah go through changes to the timeline. So I kind of was interested in seeing where that might go. That's Terminator Genesis. But without giving too much away, this movie does its own thing. Fine. I'm up for anything after so many Terminator movies that don't live up to the name. Although I enjoy them as a franchise in general. I think it has... Probably more cons than pros. Uh, the fanboy in me will uh, say there were some great scenes in it. A couple of premises I really liked. Got good performances uh, for the most part. Maybe not too much for me in the main um, twist to it. But I was trying to get through it. Um, for the most part enjoying it. But it just kept compounding things and showing, for me, flaws in the idea. Like, you started off with this idea. And you made a change to things. And it foreshadowed something that never was paid off until really the end of the movie. And then what this character did the whole time before that seems out of place. It doesn't fit well for me. And we're talking about getting back Linda Hamilton, so the fanboy in me was elated. I love what she does as an actress, but not what was written for her. Like I said, the initial premise of her, her presence, was really hit home in the beginning and then failed to live up to it. I hate when they try to... It seems like different writers are putting different blends into the characters but not paying attention to what you initially started it with and then show the flow and the evolution of that change over time in the movie so i think there's that element that really makes this not a super enjoyable movie i'll watch it again no problem i don't see uh me avoiding it so it's not a bad movie I'm going to get enjoyment out of it, seeing it 
on a um, in a way where I can pause and dissect it better. But I thought going in, I was gonna have a ball that I was gonna see Sarah Connor back with Arnold as someone who enjoyed the TV show for as short as it was out. I'm a big fan of that show. I thought, hell yeah, just do 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 whatever you're gonna do, do it well, and I'm gonna be along for the ride. So I guess maybe in the long run, I don't think the pieces were put together well. There are little elements here and there, but it's a, a wasted effort. I'm not sure how well it did at the box office, but I don't know. If it's a franchise, they're going to want to reboot again or reimagine again. I would have went with where they were going with Terminator Genesis as whatever failure it was in the box office or you know, critics. I would have just kept with that and maybe included this in that. A merger of what this movie could have been and what the continuation from Genesis should have been. Maybe it's the wannabe writer in me. So this is a movie that's a little disappointing for me. Love is it a franchise. I would recommend it to. I think it'll give you enough enjoyment. But some people like me might just disagree with the beats of the movie. How they... Um, are joined together with the story that for me doesn't develop good enough and at a pace and an understanding and a growth of the characters that I enjoyed. But as an action junkie, uh, I think it had a good level of action, pretty good action in that sense. Like I said, I'm not trying to give any spoilers or major things away. These are just to see what interest is out there and if I decide to watch digital copies and compose it and examine things, do more thorough breakdown and discuss it maybe with a friend, what will watch it again and do a deeper dive. So Terminator Dark Fate, do I recommend it? Well, by the time I get these out, it probably won't be out, but watching it on streaming service, sure. I think you're going to want to see it and decide for yourself. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people like it. Maybe, you know, we're all different. So I could see it being something that is liked by the fans, unlike Terminator Genesis. So it comes across your view. I'd watch it, give it a shot all the way through. Some good scenes. I wish it was a little better written and maybe edited or just a better progression of characters, actions and their portrayal of what was what was shown and what you thought was going to happen type thing. So Terminator Talk Fate, not my favorite movie. I liked it enough that I'm going to watch it again when it comes out on Blu-ray DVD on the streaming services and I'll look at it. Again, reevaluate it because sometimes you're in a bad mood and things are going on in your life or influencing your your um, perception of things. So maybe I'll enjoy it more. Like I said, there were premises I really liked, but it just didn't capture me. So those are my thoughts. You know what to do. I'm Addiction Master on Twitter. This is Joseph F. Olsis. Until next time. I'll see you all.